Hey guys, here's another video about my Oldsmobile. Um, what I'm doing now is a smog delete, smog system delete, because this car is no longer has the original carburetor or the original transmission on it, which means all the electronic controlled uh, stuff is out of it. So I no longer need the ECM or the uh, air recirculation system um, or anything like that, and the smog system is a part of that. Normally, I would just leave it and it just you know, be whatever, it's not a big deal, but my air pump is failing and it's making noise, which transfers air, it sucks air up out of the catalytic converter and recirculates it through the exhaust manifold system. So there's a bunch of squeaky noises coming from my catalytic converter because the noise that the pump is making is echoing through the pipes that leads through the both the exhaust manifold and the catalytic converter. So it's making really annoying sounds and I don't like it. So at this point, I'm just gonna delete the whole system. So this is gonna be part one of, I don't know, probably three, I'm gonna make it three. I don't wanna make a bunch of videos of this. Just as a little sort of layout, how to on doing a smog delete in the old 307 and probably uh, pretty similar to all the Chevy small blocks from this same era. Um, 77 through uh, 90, I believe, 91 maybe, if you're looking at the Chevy Caprice. But anyway, basically what you'll see here is uh, you've got this pole uh, pipeline system um, that goes on top of your exhaust manifold. Um, that's exhaust gas recirculation. Um, and then at the top of that uh, line of this pipeline, there's this weird little thing right here and then a vac or a uh, heater hose that goes all the way across the car um, into this EGR valve right here or EGR uh, they call it air induction recirculation or AIR it's an acronym but it's the air system is what they call it this is air recirculation uh, distributor I guess this hose right here comes off of that manifold, and then this hose right here comes up from the distributor and goes into this side manifold, which is another one of those weird doohickeys. Uh, this here hose goes directly down into this, which is an air pump, and this is actually what pumps the air from your exhaust up through this tube here, through this distributor, and back through your uh, exhaust manifolds. And that's a belt-driven thing, looks like that. If you have a computer-controlled quadrajet, you need to have this pump because it registers some of that air um, in the mass airflow sensor, or the, ma the mass airflow, uh, the uh, oxygen sensor registers this extra air coming from this, and if this isn't pumping the air, uh, your car isn't going to run right. So I actually had this rebuilt in California because it's the only place in the United States that still rebuilds these things. Because in California, if, if your car is... Um, newer than like 1970, you have to have uh, past smog. So I, re I had this rebuilt for like 80 bucks. I had to ship it out there and get it rebuilt. And uh, now I'm just gonna be throwing it away. But um, this that's what that is, an air pump. And on the back of your air pump, you can't see it because it's under this mess of shit, but there is a uh, hose right here, this one. This comes up from the the down there if you can see that, there's a pipe on the back side of that, goes down, come on, focus camera, there it is, goes down into the catalytic converter, sucks it up through this metal line here, through this hose, goes underneath all that shit, and into the back of the air pump right there. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting off the catalytic converter, taking out all these lines, taking out that air pump, and then since there will be uh let me get to the other side so I can actually show you what I'm looking at here. Since there's going to be a hole right here, since there's, there is nut, nuts on this, it's a 7 8 on the bottom on the manifold side and a 1 inch on the uh, smog side, once you take this out, that's an exhaust leak. You're going to have, it's going to be straight open headers right out of your... Uh, right out of your um, manifold. So you're gonna have to put a little piece of metal on top of that and weld it shut so that you don't have that exhaust leak. So once I get these off, that's gonna be the hardest part of this whole di thing is welding in a uh, little segment or a little uh, chunk of, of uh, angle iron 
um, to keep that from having an exhaust leak right there. And I'm going to have to do that on both sides. That side's going to be a nightmare because of all the uh, wires and, and hoses that I have to deal with. And then in addition to that, once I cut that catalytic converter off, you got to weld in a pipe, um, a straight pipe in between the two you know, exhaust pipes so that you don't have a major exhaust leak there as well. So uh, that is the entirety of what a smog delete looks like on these things. You can also delete the EGR, which is this thing right here. Um, and that goes into this vacuum or this uh, EGR switch, which this goes to your computer, your ECM that tells you uh, what it's doing. And then this here hose goes into the bottom of your carburetor. So if you just plug that or take off that hose, pop a cap on there, take this off, take the EGR off, buy an EGR delete plate, put that on and disconnect this, uh, you can delete this whole uh, EGR system and it won't do anything. But I have it on there just because um, it's not hurting anything and it's not in my way, unlike that. One of the main reasons I'm doing this is because the fuel pump is back in there. And in order to get to that fuel pump, you have to take the air pump off anyway. And if I'm going to have, have to replace that fuel pump at any point in, in the future, um, and I take this off, it's not going back on. So I might as well do this, uh, do this right now than, than doing it later when I actually have to fix something. So that's the next plan for the Oldsmobile. Next big project, Smog Delete, should take probably a few whole days. So it's going to take me about a week since I only have a couple hours of each day to work on this. Um, but once it is done, I will, uh, well, I'll make a video of it after each major step is complete. And then once it's done, I'll make another video of it so you can see the difference. But here's just a little walk around of what it looks like before. And then you can watch it of what it looks like after. And then, of course, underneath, you have that big-ass Cadillac converter. All right, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.